listening to podcasternews.com. Welcome to the LA Story Podcast with Stevie Wilson. Hey people, this is Stevie for the LA Story again. We're here with Nikki Kennard from Space NK and she's going to show us some of her favorite picks that are here in the store. For kind of our men friends around, whether it's boyfriends, brothers, husbands, whatever, blue is probably our most popular men's fragrance. This is a young, contemporary, fresh, laundry fresh fragrance. Really? Yeah. Cool. Created by Christopher Sheldrick who's a great personal friend of mine who did this for us some years ago. He's now Jacques Holger's nose of Chanel, but to have someone of that kind of level of expertise working on Space NK fragrances, I think is something special. It is. It's one that so many people, there's a kind of funny saying in London that some people think that it's kind of like once they start using Space NK men's products, it's kind of like their professional grooming career has arrived as well as within their work sphere. Oh, really? That's interesting. Yeah. So, people, that may, guys, you got to think about that. You might want to start using Space NK's grooming, men's grooming stuff because then your your career might get better. Exactly. Anyone who suffers from dry, chapped lips, this is one of the cut lip balms from France by a company called Nukes. Ah, I knew them. This is their Rev de Miel lip balm loaded with plant-based waxes and honey extract. The honey is amazing. To keep. My trick on this is keep it beside your toothbrush and toothpaste so every time you go to brush the teeth, as a matter of course, apply the lip balm afterwards. You'll find chip, chapped lips are a thing of the past very quickly. Super. Anyone who likes a fresh wash off cleanser in the morning, this is a line for you. Particularly good on kind of warmer west coast climbs. This is by an Australian girl called Christy Goodyear. Okay. She used to be our head therapist at our spa in Notting Hill. Oh, really? She has trained all over the world in Chinese herbal medicine, Japanese shiatsu techniques, nice. facialist techniques, bush, Australian bushflower remedies, and this is her cool and clear wash off. <coughs> foaming cleanser, fabulous blend of lavender flower. Let me get a close up in here. Olive uh, extract. It's and called green cool tea. and clear. Yeah. Nice. Soap free, doesn't overly strip the skin, but particularly good from teenagers right the way through. That's Anyone nice. who looks likes a really fresh early morning wake up, that's the one for them. On this level here, we're very excited to introduce Lubati which is brand new line launched simultaneously stateside and in the UK okay. exclusive to Space NK created by Jo Malone's younger sister Tracy Malone really yeah wow She's the one in the family who decided to follow their mother's footsteps very much into the treatment and skincare side of the business the name Lubati comes from Madame Lubati who was based in London in the 1920s she was the go-to society facialist and homeopath. Eileen Malone, Joe and Tracy's mother, trained with yes. her, developing all the special massage techniques and working with her on her secret recipes. It's all about luxurious pampering skincare with delightful ingredients. But not just facial skincare, body care as well. They're big on wow. anti-cellulite oils, bath oils, and delicious um, fragrant uh, I mean, it's, it's Joe jo Malone for the real skin. Yeah. Which is amazing. Exactly. But kind of nice price points and fabulous names like Gorgeous Day Moisturizer with Orange and Jojoba. Oh. The sparkling eye gel with green tea extract and aloe vera. So great if you've had a day at the beach or whatever and you feel a little scratchy around the eye just to yes. kind of freshen and brighten the whole eye area. One of my own personal favorites is her tuberose and mimosa body lotion 
we're seeing a lot more interest now in mimosa again as a floral fragrance. I think we've been through kind of the fashions. It used to be fig, then it went into a major thing of everything rose was being right. embraced. Mimosa is having its day again. Oh, good. And this is a really interesting blend with the tuberose as well. It's interesting because you can see the mother's kind of skincare heritage almost blending a little bit with Joe's fine fragrance that obviously has been prevalent in Tracy's upbringing as well. So Absolutely. It's kind of like bringing the two skill sets together. Which I think is, is fascinating. Yeah. It's a really nice thing. So what else are we going to look at? One of the cult body scrubs of all time, I think, is Rennes Garand Salt Exfoliating Body Balm. This is a scrub quite unlike any other, where it's almost paste-like in its consistency. You can see that, people. This does not look like a scrub. This does not look like a bunch of salt or sugar. It also has the most fabulous infusion of kind of mint and peppermint in there so it really feels like pepping up the skin at the same time nice. but leaves the skin silky soft and just beautifully fragrant and moisturized when you shower it off afterwards very cool yeah. Rin has been a, a, a big cult favorite here yes everybody likes it I but remember here one of the early pioneers of clean paraben free skin absolutely care, taking it that little bit further that it wasn't just ticking the boxes in terms of ingredients it actually made a difference to the skin. Absolutely. I remember first hearing about it, it was like uh, eight, nine years ago. Yeah. So, and then when you've got Caudalie and you've got um, Talika, which I love Talika, and then you've got the Evlom and other things, but what, what are we looking at at Caudalie? Caudalie, probably their most famous product is the Vino Perfect Serum. This is a great one for anyone who suffers hyperpigmentation, kind of any brown blotches on the right. skin caused by sun damage or the skin has been overly sensitized by medications and so forth. This is a great way of naturally helping fade the discoloration. It uses resveratrol, which is an amazing antioxidant coming from the grape seed, grape seed extract, right. yes, and the grapevine. So fabulous antioxidant thing that can, uh, serum that can be worn under your moisturizer on a daily basis but remember sunscreen day in day out three six five days of the year absolutely imperative Otherwise absolutely you're your time yeah don't bother with the skincare if you're not going to wear sunblock and that's really important and it's like it doesn't last all day so whatever you can do in terms of powder but um then we touched on Talika. I think they make some of the best eye makeup removers in the business. All I have some. At the San Pietro Hospital in Paris, which is the ophthalmic hospital there. Really? You have the oil-free version for even the most sensitive eyes, and then you have another one which takes sensitivity to a new level. No oil in it whatsoever. Both suitable for contact lens wearers. I use that at night. For me, it's, it's one of the best things, and it removes everything. Absolutely. My ophthalmologist, when I use that, it's like that's before I go see him, because he sits there and goes, I can see makeup in your eyes. You shouldn't be having, you should be using better, you know. That's the way you go, completely crystal clear. Absolutely. We'll be right back, people. This is Stevie for the LA Stories with Nikki Kennard from Space NK. Thanks for joining Stevie Wilson on L.A. Story. Feel free to check out other podcasts and videos. Bookmark it now. www.la-story.com